On Wednesday, Regina EMS responded to 135 calls for service. According to the SHA, the daily average from the previous year was 95 calls. This is just one example of the increased pressure EMS workers are feeling. And the main reason is because of the overcrowded emergency room and then the chronic understaffing. And that is what is leading into this increased wait time for ambulances in this province. And we have been talking about this for a long, long time. Packed emergency rooms are a big part of the problem. That's because EMS workers have to stay with the patients until they are admitted. That has led to a backup in service. In a statement, the SHA said, the Ministry of Health and SHA are aware that there are times where call volumes may exceed anticipated and planned for staffing levels. During these situations, the SHA will assess the situation and call in additional EMS resources and triage calls to ensure ambulances are dispatched to patients requiring urgent care. The ambulance shortage and long wait times also go beyond Regina. We do have a target within the ministry in the rural areas to try to have uh, to have uh, response times of 30 minutes or less to an EMS call in rural areas. And our most recent statistics, I think from a year or two ago, uh, have us achieving that about 73% of the time. The SHA says it's working on a plan to address staffing across the province. But the union representing healthcare workers says it's taking too long. You know, now that the government is started to listen to some of the calls that we have been, the concern that we have been raising, that they will put a serious effort to try to address the situation because right now it is very scary and dangerous. Paramedics are also burning out. Many are working long hours without taking breaks. I think a lot of them are struggling right now with, um, with ways to cope um, with the increased stress and the increased workload. It's really a focus on mental health right now. We're really trying hard to, to convince paramedics to take care of themselves. The real big things are eating a good diet, like a balanced diet, getting enough sleep, especially with the shift work. The official opposition is also calling on the province to come up with a more robust and immediate plan to deal with the shortages and wait times. Laura Sharpaletti, CBC News, Regina.